Hi everybody. This is a placemat I found at Dollar Tree and I just cut the rooster out. And then I grabbed my two gallon paint sticks and laid them out in an alternating pattern. So it ends up having little slits at the top and the bottom. You can't see the top right now because the sticks are really long. So once I made sure they were straight, I'm gonna take these jumbo popsicle sticks and with alternating hot glue and crazy glue, I'm gonna glue them down in random places on the sticks. This way I don't have to glue each stick together. It just saves a lot of time and it's more secure in my opinion. Now I'm gonna take these little cubes that you can get at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna hot glue them in random places on the rooster. This is gonna make it kind of like a 3D effect. Now on the film, you can't really tell, but in person, it just looks awesome. So just hot that glue down to the board and you're good to go. So after that, I am um, gonna kind of mimic the placemat. I, I liked the placemat, but I wanted to make it my own. So on my Cricut, I just, printed out the Rise and Shine in my own font, and it's on Design Space if you decide to make this. And I think it looks so good already. Now, I found that giant bolt of ribbon on Amazon, and it's 60 yards, I think, and it was only like $12. I couldn't believe it. So all I did was put some tape on the end and made like a flat surface surface for that to feed through. Now you've seen me do this before. If you've been following me for a while, I did this back at Valentine's um, for the first time and I loved it so much that I thought it was really fitting for this kind of country style decor. So just feed it through there and glue it down to the back and do that to the top and the bottom. I just think that just it just fits. And now on the end of my little wet wipe, I took some gray um, stain that I made out of paint and water and just kind of rubbed it in random places on the sticks. It was kind of an afterthought, but it really did make a big difference. I love it. Now I thought about just leaving it like this because it looks great, but I thought it just needed something. So the first thing I decided to do was to add a hanger because I thought, well, maybe I'll want to hang it or whoever I give it to or sell it to will want to hang it. So I wanted to give them an option. So I took this thick, thick um, jute, or you can actually call it rope at this point, and I just tied knots in it. I just think that makes it look that much more rustic and farmhousey. All I did was hot glue it to the back <coughs> with some hot glue, of course. <laughs> and then I actually took my stapler and put that on there too to give it more support. And that really did the trick. Now I thought about leaving it like this, but I thought it just needed something else. So I took some peat moss and Spanish moss and kind of mixed those two together. I got both of these at Dollar Tree and just spread it around at the bottom, kind of like the rooster standing in the grass. And I just thought that really made a big difference. Now, if you're gonna do this, be careful because right away I burnt my fingers. So I got smart and used the popsicle stick. <laughs> anyway, I really like this, but again, I thought it just needed something else and I just didn't know what. Now y'all, I'm not an artist, but I kind of was mimicking the placemat. So I added some more greenery, a couple of chicken coops and that, um, the windmill is actually what I came up with. <laughs> Again, I'm not an artist, so this is kind of like an abstract type <laughs> drawing, but I love it. I think it turned out awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, if you like this project, share it with your friends. Hopefully you got inspired to make something of your own. These placemats are so cute and I just loved it. So, um, Thanks for stopping by. I will see you again soon. And as always, I appreciate you. And thank you so much for always supporting me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.